Things you must know as a police officer when conducting a lawful vehicle inventory search. There are three reasons that the U.S. Supreme Court granted police these administrative searches being acceptable under the Fourth Amendment in a case called South Dakota v. Opperman. Here are your three reasons why police are allowed to do inventory searches. Number one, it protects the police from unknown dangers associated with vehicle storage. Number two, it protects the property against vandalism. Number three, it protects the police from disputes or claims about theft or damage to the personal property. Here are three reasons why you're not allowed to inventory vehicles. Number one, we can't find a canine. Number two, they refuse consent to search. Or number three, I don't have PC and I'd like to search the car and this is the only way. Here's another thing you need to know about inventorying vehicles. You must have a policy in place. You must follow what your policy says. If you exceed the bounds set forth by the searchable areas of your policy, you're essentially exceeding the bounds of the Fourth Amendment and any contraband found thereafter might be suppressed in court. If during the course of the inventory, you find criminal contraband, that now changes the dynamic of the search from an inventory search with limited bounds to a search under the automobile exception. It's important for us to know the rules of the Fourth Amendment because our number one oath is to support and uphold the Fourth Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. Don't you wish your academy taught you this stuff?